Hello children. Today we are going to start English practice book. And the first chapter is tense. It is a very important chapter of English grammar. Let us try to understand the basic concepts of time and tense. Tense, you know, there are three types of tenses. Three types of tense, present, past and future. And again, all these have four types. Simple, present, continuous, perfect and perfect continuous. One by one we will deal all tenses. But before we start you have to understand what is tense and what is the difference between time and tense. Generally it is confused by all. So look here. Sometimes time is a universal concept and tense is only related with verb form. So always remember that when we deal with tense we deal with verb form and we don't deal with time. Time may be future, tense may be present. We will discuss it in detail. Now, if somebody asks you what is tense, you have to say tense is directly related to verb forms. When we read tense, we read verb forms. Present time, past time and future time. Present tense, past tense, future tense. But we should not be confused. I am going to Patna tomorrow. Time is future. But I am going tense is continuous. In simple present also sometimes future time is referred. So one by one we will discuss all tenses. If it is asked a verb that refers to present time is called present tense. A verb that refers to past time is called past tense. A verb that refers to future time normal then it is called future tense. We have to understand it with the help of examples. Let us start present tense. So in present tense, four, we will read four types. So first of all, let us read simple present tense. In every tense, we will study. In every tense, we will study what is the verb form of this tense for example then we will read the example uses you have to these three things of each four into three twelve tenses altogether we are going to study simple present tense in simple present tense subject plus v1 or v v5 is used example i love and he loves this is v5 this is v and uses there are many uses first use is universal truth 
second use habitual actions third use daily routine these are some major major uses so many uses are there sometimes fixed time table a future also is written in this form some quotations are written running commentary many things are there for uses so one by one we will discuss everything then you have to learn first person second person and third person singular and plural forms you have to learn with the help of example i love this is singular he loves is also singular but he is third person i love present tense i love is simple present then i am reading continuous i have done the work in finished and i have been reading for two hours these are examples but when we go in detail we will learn more and more usage of each tense then in active then in the passive form so usage of the tense we will let us elaborate this we have to know that simple present tense is used to express habitual action what are the examples of habitual action habit for example he takes milk every morning so this is his habit i get up every day at 5 o'clock this is my habit so habitual action habit habitual actions then universal truth means general truth the sun rises in the east honesty is the best policy water freezes at 0 degree water boils at 100 degree these are universal truth general truth fact these are also written in simple present tense the third use we can say that say if somebody says about the fixed time table then also he train leaves at 5:30 fixed time table this is also simple present tense he retires next month this is also this is also fixed time table so fixed time table about future future time can be written in simple present tense also so this is fixed time table of the future also will be written in simple present tense always remember and the quotations of some famous people we say shakespeare says said is also right and when we say shakespeare says then his quotation that is also right so these are some things you have to learn the uses of so one by one i will tell you the uses example and verb form today this much revise this and i will send you some written notes of all tenses you will prepare this in your notebook and learn it thank you that's all for today